I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will understand how to add fractions with unequal denominators. Well the solution is to make the denominator same. That is an application of equivalent fractions. So here we will try to write fractions as equivalent fractions with same denominators and then we will perform the operation of addition on the fractions. So we have three examples to practice. First one is 4 over 5 plus 7 over 15 and then we have 3 over 5 plus 3 over 4 C is 1 over 5 plus 3 over 7. I have taken very simple examples to understand the concept. You can pause the video, solve the question and then look into my suggestion. Also follow the links for some practice questions. Let's begin uh, from the very first question. So what are we trying to do? First step for us is to write common denominator, right? So common denominator and normally we say lowest common denominator, right? So lowest common denominator is something which we should write all fractions with, right? So that is the first step. There are a few videos where I have explained how to find the lowest common denominator. Uh, at times we say lowest common multiple also. That comes in the denominator, common multiple and then we call it lowest common denominator. It's one and the same thing, right? So that is the exercise. So fractions with same lowest common denominator. So once you change the fraction, you write it as a different fraction. Remember that different fraction is always an equivalent fraction. So what we get here is equivalent fractions and once you have equivalent fractions with same denominator then you can add and subtract right so that is the whole idea. Now we'll study three different strategies to find common denominator. Here 15 is multiple. So in this case, we have a multiple, right? Multiple really means, you know, 5 times 3 is multiple. So we have to change only one of them, not both of them, right? How do we change it? We can multiply both by 3. I mean, both numerator and denominator by 3 and get equivalent fraction with same denominator. 4 times 3 is 12. So let me write 12 over 5 times 3 is 15 plus do not change the other fraction since the denominator is a multiple and now you can add 12 plus 7 is 19 right so what you get here is 19 over 15 as your answer at times you may write this as mixed number so if you divide by 15 you get this as one whole then 4 remainder over 15. So that is another way of writing this particular fraction. Correct? So that is how you do it. Now in the second example, numerators are same but they do not help us. We need to make denominators as same. Now 5 and 4 are such numbers which could be used to cross multiply for getting common denominator. Right? So in such cases we can apply a strategy which is kind of cross multiplication. Do you see that? So that is another strategy to write fractions with same denominator. How do we get the same denominators? By multiplying 5 with 4. We get 20 for both. You get an idea, right? So we'll apply this strategy. It is called cross multiplication. Let me write down here. Very important. Cross multiplication. So in case you find it difficult and there is no other way out, just cross multiply, perform addition or subtraction as the case may be, then you may sometimes have to simplify your result. Do that. Okay. So let's cross multiply. 5 times 4 is 20, right? So we have 20 here. Let me draw a line here. This is part B, which we are doing now, right? And this is space for C. Okay. So we have 20. Um, for 5 times 4, 4 times 3 is 12, so let me write down 12 for the first one plus 5 times 3 is 15, right? So same denominator, 
common denominator is 20. We could write like this also. Do you get an idea? There's an, another way of writing. You could write separately also. Now let's add them. So we have 27. 5 plus 2 is 7. 1 plus 1 is 2. So 27 over 20, you could write this as 1 whole 7 over 20. Correct? So that is how you can do it. Now here, this is for you to do. Best strategy is both are prime numbers. Here, best strategy is indeed cross multiplication. So cross multiply, get your result. So when you do 7 times 1, you get 7. 7 times 5, 35. Plus 5 times 3, 15. And 5 times 7, 35. Adding them up. Denominator is always same, which is 35. 7 plus 15 is 22. So that is your final result. I hope you understand and appreciate this cross multiplication. Right? Denominator is when these two gets multiplied. So that is how we can always add fractions, even if they have unequal denominator. Preferred strategy is cross multiplication when it is difficult to find common denominators otherwise. I hope that helps. I am Anil Kumar. You can subscribe and learn a lot from my videos. Thank you and all the best.